the New York Jets over under FanDuel uh, nine and a half as well. This one's very intriguing. I'm curious to hear the deferring opinions, especially from people out there too, because we have a, a biased Jets fan and. Uh, oh, I got to be the biased Jets fan. Okay. I got to be the biased Jets fan. Biased, um, but but bro, no. you were saying to me as we were walking in here, you're like. Bro, I'm not even that worried if Rogers gets hurt, <laughs> hurt again. We have Tyrod now. We're gonna be good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> probably the best backup quarterback in the NFL. Agreed. You think so? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I don't really know. Sure. Or Joe Flacco. Um, not for the Jets though. I mean, Joe Flacco was nice for the Jets. Yeah. Yo, Joe Flacco was alright this year, right? He was oh, okay. No, AR. He's the AR. He's the AR's back. Oh, yeah, starting yeah. this year. Yeah. But, but I like yeah, a mo- I like a mobile quarterback as a backup. I think Tyrod as your backup is still still very good. I mean, it's better than having Zach Wilson. So I cooked. Than having Mike. Like the Jets cook. Yeah. The Jets cook. <laughs> so I cooked. But that doesn't, <laughs> look, he's he's good enough to get you a couple wins. But if he's your starter come playoff time, you're cooked. I agree. Speaking of cooked, you're, you're cooked if okay. he's your starter come playoff time. But here's what I told – because I was talking to Chris about this. I know you guys want to get the predictions. Um, no, it's fine. And this is what the government doesn't want you to know, and I told you this. Trevor Simeon was 2-1 and one as a starter last year. On what other team does Trevor Simeon go 2-1 and one as a starter? On Broncos. what other team? The Broncos. Get out of here. <laughs> In the big 2024 year of our Lord – or 2023, sorry. Trevor Simeon went 2-1. and one. We were throwing oh, – who was that guy? Tim Boyle? At quarterback? Dude, it was brutal, man. It was br- so like, yeah, I have to be excited for Tyrod if he comes in. Like, that's like, oh my God, that's like our fucking Drew Brees compared to what we had last year. So, but I, you know, obviously, best case scenario is that it doesn't happen. That man stays healthy. And I mean, it's not like we're talking prehistoric MVPs for Rodgers. He was MVP, what? Was it 2020, 2021? Two years ago. Two, three years ago. I mean, you guys could go first and I'll talk because I obviously have more to say. Yeah. But- Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So simply put, the Jets are. You talked about best defense in the NFL. This will probably be the best defense in the NFL. Um, you lose Hassan Reddick, but then here you go. You gain another situational pass rusher in Bryce Huff, who's younger and could arguably be more explosive for them this what? year. Yeah. I think. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. The other way around. Yeah. Hassan Reddick, uh, older, but um, I think Bryce Huff is the better of the two at this point. But Hassan Reddick hasn't it's reported tough. yet. It's tough. Yeah, what's the, what's up? Yeah. They'll, they'll look, I, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. I also, I mean, I think the Jets are fine. They still have Will McDonald's. I like Will McDonald's. Stop laughing. I like Will, Will McDonald's, bro. Or he doesn't think so? No, I think Will McDonald's good <laughs> as a like, situational <laughs> pass. Yes, agreed, agreed. You lost Bryce Huff, so you could go get Hassan Reddick if you have to sell I agree. for Will I McDonald agree. You're fucked. <laughs> I I think you're in a spot now that Jermaine Johnson's awesome. I think He's amazing. Great. Quinn and Williams, come on, man. It's second or third no third best defensive tackle in the nfl dexter in front of him yes sir okay. he is okay um but quinn and williams is a game record in and of himself you have arguably the best linebacker duo in the nfl even though you hate cj <laughs> uh, <laughs> two years ago cj was tough to watch in coverage last year he improved a lot he improved a lot they like, gave cj mosley a madden card for easter 98 overall that was my favorite madden card of the last uh, year or two years ago this Past year, okay. bro. Moses was balling. He was year, just, bro. he was, he was like, but two years I'd ago was when I didn't like Moses. Like as an edge, but then I'd put him in a flat, so he'd just fall out, and the guys would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna throw this to my running back in the flat," and CJ Mosley would jump like ten feet in the air and just pick it up <laughs> with lurk artists and flat zone KO. He was actually a god, bro. Well, that he was had the so thing. many pick sixes for me and Madden, so I, I rock with CJ Mosley. And like Madden 17, he had a motivator card too. Well, he was sick. Yeah, Raven yeah. CJ Mosley yeah, was different, yeah, yeah. but it's like with the linebackers and safeties. I they have Chaz Surratt too. You know about Chaz? Chaz is, used to be a wide receiver. He used is to be a quarterback. The, quarterback. Quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. Okay. Yep. Um, I think I think your defense is obviously going to be phenomenal. Your safety duo is. Uh, I know. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Um, but aside from that, I I mean I think the defense will be great. I'm not concerned about that. Rob Sal is a fucking idiot, by the way, uh, in his press conferences. But he's great as a defensive play caller. I'll he's say a great that much. He's a great play defensive play caller. Absolute idiot when it comes to the podium. Um, I agree. Sorry, that. Rob. Uh, but. Then you get to the offense, and there's only one thing holding this offense back, and it's injury. 
Mm. How many of these guys are going to get hurt? We have Brees Hall in the past, tears ACL. I pray to the good Lord that Brees Hall stays healthy because he is so fun to watch. He's so dynamic. Um, you've added a lot to this offensive line, and that's huge. But Elijah Vera Tucker has not played many games in an NFL career. At this point, he just continues to get hurt. Tyron Smith guarantees you nine great games, but then the other eight he's fucking missing. Morgan Moses, pretty much the same thing as Tyron Smith. And then John Simpson was a good ad from the Ravens as well. So I think... It's a very interesting situation here. Um, if you stay healthy, it's a great offense. I take nothing away. Garrett Wilson is a true alpha, one of the best receivers in the NFL. What do we get out of Mike Williams? But I'd have to assume Aaron Rodgers, baller, bro. Aaron Rodgers was very good with Alan Lazard. Mm -hmm. Mike Williams can yeah, at least be a better version of Alan Lazard, I, and yeah. then it'll work. So yeah. I think... This offense could be super dynamic, top 10 in the NFL if they're healthy. I like Xavier Gibson a lot, too. Um, Do you? It just comes down to health. With all that being said, I took the over. I have them at 11 and 6. I think the Jets are going to be phenomenal this year. I think there will be some missed time, which is why I was conservative, in my opinion, and put them at 11 and 6. So, so Chris, go, go ahead. Because now I'm pondering. I might change. Are you going last? No, I'll go after Joe Cruz. Mm -hmm. I know you want to go well, last because you got no. And the schedule's kind of light, might I add. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to have to agree here with Matt. I'm also going over. I think I'm actually going 12-5, and five, though. I think the Jets are, like, I, I like Aaron Rodgers to the point that I think he's going to bring this team to, like, you know, at least the playoffs. And the way the AFC is built this year, especially the AFC East, like, he has to, like, you know, cramp in as many wins as possible. Cramp? My fault. That'd be bad if he was getting cramps. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that wouldn't be we ideal. Don't want cramps, but like he, um, like I said, I think with the team they have around now, like adding, I agree with Matt. Everything has been set up to this point. The only thing that's holding them back is injuries. You know, the offense especially. I think the defense usually lasts a little longer than the offense does. I mean, we seen last year, like, like how bad the offense was. The defense stayed basically healthy up to the end of the season. Um, but yeah, you know, adding Mike, Mike, Mike Williams, all of them. I, I like Mike Williams a lot. I drafted him last year. You know, of course he got injured again, but I think, you know, there's, there's depth on the team there. I think they have all the pieces together. I just, I think the main focus is on Aaron Rodgers. Like I, there was like a training camp video the other day where he was just like, you know, I don't know what was happening with his leg, but like, I think it was fine. But I think that's the main concern of injuries. Cause even with Tyrod as your backup, it's like, how many wins are you going to be able to take out of him? With that defense, uh, Tyrod could get you some wins. Yeah, but I, I agree. I don't want a Super Bowl. No, yeah. no, no. I agree. But all that I'm praying, like, I'm looking at it like if Aaron Rodgers misses a couple of regular season games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. As long as you're healthy come playoff time, can Tyrod keep you afloat in the regular season? And I think that's. I agree. Oh, he's showing yeah, you he can yeah. keep you afloat in the regular season. I so. Agree. so that's how I feel about you that. You took the over, you AC? I took the over. I went 12 and 5. Ooh. I really don't know. I think they're it's so tough, bro. You know about the over nine and a half, bro. They're it, literally they're, they're in, better than they were last year, and they were eight and nine. I know they were seven and ten, seven, ten or ten. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Significantly better. We don't think we could add two wins. Uh, three. That's fine. I don't know. Stop. I feel like Aaron Rodgers just... alone in his brain. Yeah. No, nah, I have. I'll take the over. I'll take. Well, I have Aaron the Rogers over written down. Man, it's over. So what are you I, pondering I'll about? Pondering about maybe being different. I don't know. <laughs> but. I mean, there's just... Have we been different on anything yet? Yeah, I, I think yeah. that's for the over. That's a, that's a crazy one. It's just like, I don't even know what to say. Like, it really just all comes down to health yep. of the offense. But, like... Yeah. It, it's yeah. not just an Aaron Rodgers thing, I though. Agree. Like, if Mike Williams goes down, you know, you're in trouble in terms of I agree. the weapons. I agree. Room. If any of the O-linemen go down, like, you're... Obviously, Olu Fashani was, a, you know, a good... Great pick. Good up. depth uh, draft pick, Great but draft. is he going to be ready to contribute day one? You know, offensive linemen, especially tackles, normally take a year or two to really, like, come along. There's not many tackles who come in right away and are that guy off the rip. There's you know, also they, not that many tackles that get the chance to sit even for a little while or learn in training camp from a guy like Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. Yeah, for so. sure. But, again, this team is trying to win Super Bowls. I don't know if Olu Fishanu can step right in and be a Super Bowl-level tackle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's just – they're so – and they're just – they're like the most fragile team in the NFL, especially on offense. And 
So I don't want to predict injuries. Like fully healthy, healthy. You guys nailed it. Like this is an elite team, the best defense. This is a Super Bowl. Team. Not, not arguably. Like this is the best defense in the NFL. I agree. I, like it's really not close for me. Um, and offensively, this is fucking Aaron Rodgers. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like hello. I don't know how Rodgers will look. Forty years old, coming off a torn Achilles. I expect him to be fine because he should still be able to. Sling that, that wood. Arm, that I meant the, the ball, not his wood. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I mean, and again, like you guys mentioned, Tyrod's definitely good enough to gut out some wins if Rodgers has to miss a week or two here and there. I mean, like you mentioned, Tim Boyle was out there, and this team went won eight games last year. So, yeah, they should get the over pretty easily. But then again, if they do happen to suffer a few injuries and end up going under, like, would anyone really be shocked? No, I don't think Would so. we really be shocked if the whole thing crumbles on them? It's the Jets. Like, yeah. I hate to be that guy, but it's the Jets, you know? I think that that's funny. I think that's, like, kind of the biggest thing. Like, when you look at the Jets, if there's, like, an argument as to why they can win the Super Bowl, it is that they're the Jets. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's very— And that's a good enough reason for people. Yeah. Like, I'm taking the over for the sake of the segment. I don't think I would put my—there's other— wow. I, would, I don't think I would put my well, money would, on it, would, obviously. Bro. Well, yeah, yeah, you're a fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as you should. As, as you I should. should. Yeah. As I should. 100%. But— yeah. It's just like, it just seems so likely that it's going to blow yeah, up in I the face, it. bro. I don't know. It's just it like gut feeling and history just says it's all going to yeah. blow up in their face. Before It you sucks go, that you have to analyze them like that. I it agree. really does. I agree. Before you go, I, I do also, I just want to say like, I I completely just lost my train of thought. Forget it. Never mind. Maybe I'll talk and you'll remember yeah, it. Yeah, so it's like, I like this defense. I think two years ago, because I know we brought up like the linebacker, CJ Mosley, and the safeties too. I think that the only... That's the thing with the defense. The, the rest of it is good enough that uh, it's going to block out the safeties. They have, what, Tony Adams, Chuck Clark, Ashton Davis. It's not anything sexy. Um... Two years ago, that was a genuine problem, though. Like, their safeties, they were losing games. I was at the Lions game where they, the Lions' third string, I think it was Brock Wright, scored a game winner. They can't, they can't guard tight ends. This team, like, honestly struggles sometimes with tight ends. The Chiefs, I remember that Kelsey game. It, it's, it's improved, but, like, two years ago it was a problem. I wish that they did more with the secondary in terms of the safety. I think last year the pick was Brian Branch instead of Will McDonald at that spot. I'm a big Brian Branch guy. I think his, slotting him into the secondary would have been the move. I that's he's a superstar already. He's a superstar. That's the pick I wanted uh, last year. Even obviously, you look back on it. Losing we all Whitehead wanted. definitely, definitely uh, hurts. No. Yeah, I mean, uh, he he was weird. Yeah, he, he had like, his game. He, he had, had his game. game. He, he'll have like a three pick game and then allowed three touch. You know, so it's like yeah. it's weird with he's him. Not bad. I think he's better than. Tony Adams. I think, yeah. I think he'd be yeah. a great third safety on an NFL team. Yeah, and he was our first. So it's like, they, I don't know why they just never paid too much attention to the safeties. Um, but that's kind of like just they, nitpicking. Probably after they did with Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams. Fucked them over by yep. being ass. <laughs> yeah, but I like Brian Brant. He was the guy. No, that Brian even, is sick. He's a stud. I mean, I the only thing I'm trusting is because the Jets, when they draft, they draft less based on what players are good in college and which players... They think get Rob Sala and so. Joe Douglas hard. Yeah. That's what they do. Because if these guys are like jacked and like they're on like the relative athletic score, like tens, that's all they care about. Like Will McDonald was not a first round pick. He just is sexy to Robert Sala, and that's why Ball they drafted him. Talent. Raw talent. Yeah. So yeah. I, I can respect. I mean, they did the same thing last year. <laughs> Raw they had, I mean, after they killed that draft, I think you have to kind of put all your trust in them so you had to you know Jermaine Johnson had that big jump last year you're kind of hoping Will McDonald has that same step especially because there will be an increased opportunity um I don't love the wide receiver still uh Xavier Gibson right now on the depth chart is wide receiver three it's probably either going to be him or Lazard uh Lazard should be better with Rodgers Jason Brownlee is still in this depth chart they had Malachi Corley I like Corley I forgot about Corley um yeah I mean I just wish that they went more in made some more like win now moves in terms of like you had a cheap option, Tyler Boyd. Why not just get him? Like, you're, you're trying to win this year. We spoke about that. There's just so many guys, especially. I mean, even if you wanted to go and get a Michael Thomas, it's such a cheap cost uh, just I mean, to add. They still add. could. They still could. I mean, like, I just don't get why you wouldn't. I'd love that for them. I agree. I agree. I agree. That'd be sick for them. There's realistically no reason why. Because I'm scared. Because if you don't win it this year, when do you win it? Right. Because yeah. then you're going to have to oh, start paying. Your window. I agree. Because then, obviously, Rodgers, obviously, just most likely is his last year. And then you're going to have to pay those rookie contracts. Is it next year for the rookie contracts? 
for who? Sauce, for Garrett, Sauce? Brees. Yes. Uh, Sauce, Garrett, Garrett, Brees, no, and Jermaine. No, no, it's the following year. It's the following year. So it's the Sauce year after this year? It's extensions. Not, yeah. Extensions, that's what I mean. They'll be due for extensions at that Because they were 2020. We'll still have, have one more year option. Contract. Well, yeah. Brees Hall not, doesn't get a fifth year option, right? Because he wasn't a first. Brees was, Brees? was the second. Yeah, so okay. Brees, okay. Second. Brees, Brees still it. have to pay, but Sauce and Garrett. Sauce, but Garrett, and Jermaine. They probably will extend them, but they're not. They don't That's going to be so tough. But their cap hit doesn't. Go up until two yeah. years from then. Okay, right? you'd be fine either way. You have a two-year window. If okay, being technical right now. So that's. I just wish they did more there with the depth. I like Tyler Conklin. I mean, I know that a lot of people wanted Brock Bowers. I like. I like Conklin. I like Conklin a lot. So you know, I think that this team. I mean, it's obviously a smash for me. It's the over. I could see him winning 12, 13. I don't like the. I didn't really love the old Fichano pick. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. You I just needed depth on that all. You did. I agree. Last year was just brutal. like you just went and signed. Like I know you signed two fragile guys, and that's why you needed the depth. But there's also like other. I mean, I look at a Brock, but like a Brock Bauer. Like I know you needed depth on the O line, but Brock Bauer's on this team like changes what, a lot. Yeah. For I agree. Dude, I like Conklin though. Long. I think, I mean, obviously Conklin is not Bowers. I understand that. Oh, yeah, Conklin's fine, but, like, like bro, you give Aaron Rodgers a guy like Brock Bowers playing alongside Garrett Wilson, and you have Brees Hulk who could make some noise out of the back. Yeah. As a pass yeah. Catcher, like, I think they're hoping for more from Jeremy Rucker like as well. Too. I, I was going to say, I, I think they're hoping for more. No, Rucker. they didn't need a tight end. I just, I wish they got a guy, even if they went on the defensive side of the ball, just a guy who could impact winning now well, rather yeah. than Olu Fishanu. So like, that's the thing. I think, like you mentioned, they have a one-year Super Bowl window, and they're drafting. Obviously, he's a future that. starter, but as of right now, he's a depth tackle. Sure. That's yeah. just not the move you make as a team who has a one-year. You know what I mean? I agree. It, it looks crazy until one of these two tackles get hurt and say Fashanu steps in and keeps that team afloat in terms of the tackle. All right, and that's a that's a big ask of a rookie tackle. It is. It you know, definitely is. I agree. But we looked at Fashanu as one of those top yeah, guys that can yeah, step in and be ready to play. hundred percent. I also wouldn't be surprised if they eventually move around these positions. Like, if there's, like, a guard that gets hurt, the Jets love to do that. Elijah Vera Tucker was a tackle. Now he's a guard, too. They love moving he's positions awesome. like that. Yeah, he's so good. Elijah Vera Tucker's amazing. So the Jets do like to kind of, they have that flexibility, like, guard and tackle is not set in stone, really, unless it was Makai Becton, who was terrible. No. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that the only thing is, I don't think this draft class is going to be what is the year you look back on and say, damn, I wish they got this guy instead of him. I think it is well, going to be the Will McDonald. two years in a row. That's the thing. I think right. I think, I think. think it's the 2023. I think it's the Will McDonald draft. That's where it's like you could have – if Will McDonald doesn't have that impact, JSN that's a draft where you could have had a JSN. Yeah. And you could have had a uh, – I mean, anybody. I mean, like Jordan JSN. Addison. And Garrett Wilson. Pairing them up together. Or Jordan they're Addison. Teammates. You, could have, you could have had the f- best wide receiver, whoever you thought it would have been. Whatever first-round receiver could have been. And then you also had other chances too because obviously guys like Tank Dell, Puka. It's in terms of scouting, obviously. But – I don't know. I think it's just the receivers that do worry me. So I think that, I mean, last year after having Randall Cobb on the field, that I mean, it can't literally get any worse than this. Um, so I do think they improved massively there. Brees getting hurt. I like Braylon Allen. I like Isaiah Davis. I like Izzy. I think they have the depth there. I would have liked a little more though with the receivers, and that's kind of the main gripe I have there. But I think, I think it's a, solid. I think Corley I like Corley. Is enough for you guys. And then of course I think I like Xavier Gibson a lot personally. Maybe I'm alone on that one. I love Xavier Gibson. Love that man. So maybe it was that punt return. It has to be the punt return. It has I mean, to be. that was that's the only thing he's hard done. Knocks. <laughs> hard knocks he's cool. made me fucking love Xavier Gibson. Let me just say. So I, I think I think he's gonna be solid for yeah. this. If game. they could just get like a Michael Tom like I know I said it before, but if they Go just do that, that's the thing that could really That moves me make mentally it. if they bring 100%, in Michael 100%. Thomas. Hundred percent. If, if there if there's anyone that could like maybe keep a Michael Thomas from being a distraction, I mean, you're not arguing with Aaron Rodgers. No. Like that man has been there, done that with everything. So I think I think Michael Thomas would help this team a lot. It, it'd go a long way. But but yeah, so there we go. Jets, Super Bowl contenders. 100%, man. I, I'm so – I think that the last thing I'll say about them is that I know it sounds like bias because it's the first time I'm speaking on them, like, to anybody, like, on an audience. But I've, you know, obviously been through with the Jets. They probably are the least – like, they, they were – you could argue they were the worst team to root for in football for the last decade. Like, there was no – team that was less fun to watch than the Jets through everything obviously um like it's it's just been it's been brutal so I've never had this kind of confidence I don't think a lot of Jets fans ever really do have this kind of confidence I think this year is it just has to feel different because it's the same thing as when you got Aaron Rodgers it's the same feeling because when we got Aaron Rodgers last year it was so exciting now last year like this year it's the same thing like oh we're getting Aaron Rodgers again like it's this team last year except we just added 
Rodgers, it feels like a free agency move again. It feels like we just re-signed yeah. him. You know? And improved your offensive line a lot. Yeah. So that's intriguing too.